My favorite Tia song is definitely going to be Trouble. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. That's me. Bye. My God, just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me. Kill me right now. Three days after George Santos was expelled from the House of Representatives due to his misuse of donor money, spent it on Botox, he spent it on OnlyFans. He decided, you know what? This is a good opportunity with my name recognition to launch a cameo account. It's exactly what he did. And he has been making a killing on cameo. This is where people basically pay you to make videos. You know, video greetings toward people, right? And so Santos was on a $174,000 salary when he was in Congress. That's how much members of Congress make. And that's, you know, the base salary. They also make a lot of money through insider trading. And that's where the real money comes in. But that's neither here nor there for the purposes of this discussion. Now, Santos said, and screenshots and the CEO of Cameo confirmed. That he has lined up more than that sum, more than $174,000 in his first 48 hours on the platform. Yeah. So look, I blame America. That's what I do. I blame America. <laughs> I know, you know why? No, but like we love to reward bad people. It's not bad people that we like to reward. It's mm-hmm. that it, fame is irresistible for humans. Once someone becomes famous, people become obsessed with them and they'll pay them for almost anything. And so that's what's happening here. Guys, the reason, and now this is gonna be a twist here. The reason I ran for Congress three years ago was because of this phenomenon. Not to go and do cameos and get rich for myself like this idiot, right? But because look at all of the power that he has just from being a half a term congressman. And he got the attention through all the wrong means. But if you're in Congress, you can get attention by doing right things like creating good trouble. Like when Cori Bush sat on the steps of the Capitol to protect people who were gonna get kicked out of their house. When AOC did a sit in in Nancy Pelosi's office to fight for climate change. So you can actually gather up the same kind of attention and use it for good. But so few people use it for good, instead they use it for things like this. And next thing you know, they, he got famous for all the wrong reasons and now he's cashing in. Of course, what else was he gonna do? He's a bad guy to begin with. And so, and now we're all aiding and abetting him because he's famous. So Santos is going to be an absolute whale, Cameo's founder and CEO, Stephen Galanis, this is a graphic three, told Semaphore. His launch, Galanis said, is among the platform's best ever. Sarah Jessica Parker, Bon Jovi, he's putting numbers up like that, he said. So um, look, I just have to accept it. I just have to accept that being a bad person is rewarded. Um, behaving poorly is rewarded. Yeah, you might be embarrassed briefly. Uh, but honestly, with St- Santos, I don't even think he had a moment of embarrassment. I don't think he feels yeah. any shame. Now, remember what we've said a lot of times on this show. The number one indicator of whether someone's going to get wealthy uh, is not intelligence or hard work, it's shamelessness. Now, guys, I'm not trying to say that everybody who's wealthy didn't work hard. No, the plenty of them work hard, plenty of them uh, brilliant strategy, etc., right? But if you have no shame, it makes it so much easier. So how did the Kardashians get famous in the first place? Oh, We leaked a porn video, Oh, golly gee, did that get out no, there? No, they didn't leak it. I mean, no, they claim they didn't leak they it. They claim they right. didn't leak it. It was so well produced with lighting and choreography, but oh, golly gee, homemade video, right? And what, like so, and it paid them, oh my God, they made bank. And nobody even remembers that they got famous from a porn, mm-hmm. right? But they, but in order to do that, you have to have no shame. Trump does Trump University, Trump charity, has to pay millions in fines later, because he was ripping people off. He would say, oh, I'm gonna teach you real estate. And he teach them nothing and he says, oh, I'm gonna come meet you. Instead, he'd have them take a picture with a cardboard cutout. He'd take people's money and then use it to buy six foot pictures of himself. So, and ripping off veterans and, and, and people with AIDS, unbelievable. But he has no shame, which allows him to accumulate more money because, and then look now look at Santos, no shame. So in Cameo, why don't I do Cameo? We all need money, right? Because I don't wanna be like, hey, la la la, right? But Santos is like, that's what he does for a living anyway, right? I mean, I don't know. So, might reconsider. 
No, I, <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. But the thing is, like you see Rudy Giuliani's cameos. Do I? No, we've shown a couple. They'll say anything. That's why people do it, because it's such a gag. Hey, we'll get the famous person to be a clown for us. In fact, John Fetterman, Senator John Fetterman, who turned out to be a massive disappointment, he spent $343 to get Santos to put out a troll cameo video against Senator Bob Menendez. In fact, we have that for you. Let's take a look. Hey, Bobby. Uh, look, I don't think I need to tell you, but these people that want to make you get in trouble and want to kick you out and make you run away, you make them put up or shut up. You stand your ground, sir, and don't get bogged down by all the haters out there. Stay strong. Merry Christmas. So Bob Menendez, of course, is facing allegations of a illegal corruption scheme. He's, you know, he was raided by the FBI. They found gold bars in his home and a ton of cash. And so I don't really. So John Fetterman wanted to troll Menendez by paying for a cameo video done by George Santos. I just. I don't know. I didn't really feel like that was a big gotcha or an own, but whatever. No, that was to- that sucked. Uh, like Fetterman used to be great at this back in the day with the vegetable tray versus the crudite, right? Mm-hmm. And he owned uh, Dr. Oz, but that was weak sauce. And he got a lot of backlash for spending that kind of money, like paying George Santos that kind of money to do that video in the first place. But Fetterman told Business Insider that he doesn't care if people think it's wrong that he gave money to Santos, an alleged fraudster. Quote, they really got to get over it, end quote. I, he has lost the plot, man. Totally I hear lost you, the plot. But, you know, I don't mind him paying Santos. I mind how weak that was. <laughs> and and when you pay, like if you pay him to troll him, trolling someone else, that's not really a joke. Like no, he could have even said that about Bob Menendez, and he would have said it because he would he think so. You're supposed to get him to troll himself. If you so super misplayed, total waste of money. Yeah, look, I've seen other people use Cameo and pay various celebrities on Cameo to troll others, and it was effective and funny and, and clever. It just just wasn't. So it is what it is. Anyway, point of the story is George Santos in 24 hours made more money than the vast majority of people in this country simply by being a bad person and knowing that there are people who are willing to pay him to put short videos together. So. Okay, and so last thing for me is the cycle of shamelessness goes this way. Bad behavior to get a lot of attention, then cameo to cash in on it. And then when that runs dry, OnlyFans, okay? And just take in all the money through all the shamelessness that you could imagine. And so for bad faith actors in America, it's become kind of a little industry of bad faith to shamelessness to cash. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We also love it if you hit the join button below because that makes you a member. And members allow us to be independent, honest. We could be as progressive as we want, no corporate media influence. And that's all because of you guys. We love doing the show with our members. Hit the join button, become one of the Young Turks.